What we have noticed is that where we've used the cameras, the amount of chemical that we're using is probably between, at best it's 5% and at worst it's probably 20, 22, 23% of the usage that was there before. Hi there, I'm Gareth Rowe. Uh, we farm in Georgina, which is at Walkaway in northern western Australia. We farm about 6,000 hectares, about two thirds wheat and a third canola. Always wanted to be a farmer. I set out in about 1999, I think it was, to find a farm. It took two or three years to do that, and then bought this farm, which is Georgina Farms. I was living in the UK, eventually moved here permanently. We're farming in a marginal rainfall area. The wheat belt is on the edge of a desert. The weed issues are ryegrass and radish. We've always been conventionally broad acre spraying. The idea of moving towards cameras was to try and reduce the amount of chemical that we put on the farm. Chemicals and fertilizer probably account for a third of our total business running costs, if not a bit more than that. The logic of reducing the chemical input by spraying with cameras is a much, much more sensible way of going. Green on green spot spraying is just reducing the herbicide that we're using across the farm. Any herbicide, whether the crop is tolerant to it or not, is effectively a poison. I'm quite sure that not actually having to spray a herbicide on a crop is going to be beneficial to the whole plant. Chemical resistance is something you've always got to be worried about. The ability to mix and match chemicals because of the spot spraying activity is going to allow us to financially use some of the chemicals that perhaps we haven't used in the past and thereby maintain the efficacy of some of the cheaper chemicals that we still rely on. The system is incredibly easy to use. When you're sitting in the sprayer and driving it and the cameras are uh, switching on the nozzles like by magic. It's a fantastic feeling. You then have this period when you wonder whether it's actually going to work. To go back and actually see how effective it's been is a, a really good, uh, positive feeling. The sprayer leaves in the morning, goes spraying all day long. It doesn't have to stop, it doesn't have to get refilled. The work rate increases dramatically, which allows us to be more particular about when we go spraying and it also reduces the amount of labour we need in order to do that job. If we're not spraying and not spending the money on chemicals and we're not actually damaging the crop by putting unnecessary chemicals across the farm, it's got to be good for the environment, it's got to be good for everything we deal with. In the foreseeable future, there's going to be a lot more data that we could capture, weed maps, nutrition information, even down to how that then integrates with AI. I think over the next 10 years, it's going to become a very, very significant part of our business. It will revolutionise what we do.